All right, welcome to Toy the Kings. My name is St. Kramer, Brand Man Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we are going to talk about episode four of Ahsoka. Um, so before we get into all the good and the bad and stuff like that, um, this is full spoilers. So we're talking about everything, all of it. So if you didn't watch it all the way through, then finish the episode. If you didn't watch it at all, go watch it. Put it on some pause, come back and watch it. Because, um, yeah, we're going to talk about everything and a lot happened in this episode. A lot. Um, but right off the bat, what you guys think about it? Like they hate it, Brandon? Oh, I, I loved it. Um, first and foremost, that episode was the reason I was late. I had to watch it in its entirety uninterrupted. Um, so that was the reason for my tardiness. It was well worth being tardy. Um, awesome episode. So, uh, like, I think they're, yeah, it really, really, um, they really, really upped their games. I thought the lightsaber scenes were super dope. Um, it, it left me wanting more by the end. Um, it, it just, I, I like, I liked how Ahsoka centric it was. Mm -hmm. Um, just, just everything about it. Like, I was just, I was a lot of holy crap moments during it. Mm -hmm. In that ending, like, dude. <laughs> um, the final, the final, um, the final lightsaber duel between uh, between Rosario Dawson and Ray Stevens. For whatever reason, his character name is escaping me right now. Uh, Balin. 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 Yeah. What is it? Balin. 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 There we go. Yeah, between Ahsoka and Balin. Ba um, really, really cool. Um, he really um, it, and and it. If he wasn't already established as someone not to be trifled with early on, this just um this just really reinforced that. Like when Sabine was just shooting at him with a blaster and he's just casually like um just just deflecting the blast. Like they're nothing. <laughs> yeah. You know, um yeah, just everything about this episode. It 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 felt very, very um there were parts where Star Wars -y. Like I got like an old school Star Wars vibe, um, you know, be it the lightsaber battles, you know, um, Hera going to help, you know, just her in the um, in in the in the docking bay. That just felt very old school Star Wars to me too. So like it it, it really um, as a fan, it, it it made me happy overall. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Brian. Well, yeah. First thing I want to say, Dave Filoni. Thank you. Thank you, Dave Filoni. You are the man. That mm -hmm. was nearly perfect. Like, honestly, the, everything you did was the right move. I, I don't, I'm telling you, I, I, I like episode three even more knowing what we got episode four, why he stopped there, why he gave us all that information. The idea, the name of it, the name of this episode is called Fallen Jedi. Who's yeah. the Fallen Jedi? There's so many. Dude, is it is it Sabine? Is it Ahsoka? Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it, is it Balin? Is it someone we don't know? Like, yeah. Who is the damn Fallen Jedi? That is <laughs> ingenious. Everything about this show was so well done. The lightsaber mm -hmm. battle was off the chain. And you know what I, I really loved? The fact that when, when Ahsoka went against Balin, she was holding her own, doing her own thing until she burned her own, her, her hand, right? Then she couldn't use her hand. And then Balin just was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to whoop your ass now. And he did it, right? Then seeing her go to that extra, the, the other dimension and seeing Anakin there blew my <laughs> effing right? mind. I that was one. like, what? And we're going to get the beginning of episode five. It's going to be all that. Dude, Sabine, I will, you know what? When I saw her and when oh. she gave up, I oh. was, oh my God. Oh. I knew it. I, I was like, I knew it. And you can't be a goddamn Jedi. That's why you suck. I uh -huh. hated it. <laughs> but I hated it. For it. But it was like, so well done. Even back Bailey that was so good. Bailey yeah. just walked up to her and said, like, look, yeah. No. But then the, even the backstory. What did Ahsoka do to not listen to, to a Sabine that lost all those people, you know, on, on that on the planet? What What did she do to her? We don't know that backstory. We have no idea what she did. So that there's there's so many well thought out things that are there. Like just, just the story was so well done. 
mm-hmm. Dave Filoni, once again, I just, I mean, you just, good job. That was, mm-hmm. you should be, you the heir. Yeah, F- yeah he's Kennedy. the heir to the empire. He's the real heir to the empire. This is what's supposed to be, I mean, can you imagine if they did this one, The, the, the Last Jedi? Like, some, like, when you really stick the landing. Yes, yeah, if, if, if they kept the synergy for. I think yeah. what the name. Fallen Jedi. It's almost like he knew. And he's like, this is how you do it. Mm-hmm. Good, good ass job. That was a is an unbelievable episode. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's my thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so before I get into mine, yeah, oh you know, be, yeah, I'll do mine before we get into comments, because I know comments are gonna get or you guys are going crazy right now in the comments. I love it. Um, but yeah, with me, it was uh, great. It was great, you know, and I hear other people, um, like I said, I, I watch John Campia. I, I enjoy his content, but him saying, like, that we're crazy because we're saying this is one of the best Star Wars content we've got in a very long time, and he's like, he goes, no. Well, one, he thinks Andor is great, which is insane. Um, <laughs> you know, so, but I was like, this was Star Wars. This is exactly. what we've been missing. The lightsaber yeah. fights were great, and to see the difference of the lightsaber fights, where you see Shin and uh, and uh, Sabine, I was like, it's an apprentice and a person who barely knows how to use a, a lightsaber. You know, yeah. you, their fight was very amateur, very yeah. different style. But then you go to uh, Merrick, which what the whole shit where, where Merrick is like a fart or whatever. That shit was awesome. Like, yeah, I cannot then- wait. For he stab him and all that it just goes a fart in the wind. <laughs> yeah, like I'm so I, I know it's not the end. I know it's not the end of us seeing that, and I'm no, really was, curious to know what magic. that is. Yeah, that was great you magic. Know, yeah, no, because was that? Is, no, that's that's from the sisters. The sisters of uh, um, yeah, that, that's what it is. It's the magic. The night nice sisters. The night nice sisters. That's exactly that's what, what I that is. Think. That's yeah. what I think. Um, I that's what it's, it probably is most likely is, but we didn't we didn't get any of it yet. It's like it just happened, and Ahsoka just like. And then it took off, and I was like, "That's because she's in a different mindset." Where like, I don't give a shit. Like, there's only one mission, and I don't have time to sit and think about like this like gas that I bought. Yeah. You know, it's like I gotta go do shit. You know, but then, it, but that's why. And then even her and Balin, you know, it was like here's two people that were trained by the Jedi Order. You know, and 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 that's what I I like was like, yeah, I get why Luke was not the greatest Jedi. uh saber you know wielder whatever yeah. it's like he was trained by you know a 900 year old fucking puppet you know what i mean like how much could he really <laughs> learn you know what i mean like don't get me wrong it's, it's yoda still but both of, ahsoka was trained by anakin you know by anakin yeah. you know you know and, and balin i'm i want to know more about balin like and i'm so so upset and depressed that that ray stevenson is dead because i yeah. want more of this character i want Definitely. more of this character maybe hopefully we recast yeah i oh uh, I think Balin dies in this. Thing. I, I wouldn't mind seeing maybe a mini series, like just of what happened episode, before, five, of him being younger. You know, like uh-huh. him in the Jedi, you know, order. You know, so maybe you can recast with somebody younger, and and I want to know more of his backstory and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like just the Jedi, all that stuff was great, and then obviously at the end with 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 Anakin, it just you know, and then the longer I, I at first I'm like, oh man, I want to talk about this right now. Which would have been fun, don't get me wrong. But I'm kind of glad mm-hmm. it's a couple of days later because I was able to see all these different theories and ideas, mm-hmm. and now we're able to talk about it because it gets. You know what's funny? There's some. I didn't watch, there's some crazy. I didn't watch anyone else's theory. I, I you know what? I was so oh, good, one. good. Just soaked it. So you know, I did. I watched it twice. I've now watched it three times I, I've total. Seen it twice. Yeah. Like yeah. It's 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 good. I, remember when I said with Hera? I told. I said, look. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, the next episode, Hera's going to be like, F the council, and she's going to go out. I said oh. it on, on Chaos um, Central. I told him. I was like, look, this is what Hera's going to do. And she did exactly what I said she was going to do. Because yeah. it made yeah. sense. Why Why are you even arguing with these people? Go get the people that, yeah, that support you. Yeah. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you can go. You did, you did you it for five, about five se- four seasons. You know, Rebels. Like, yeah. this, this is a new thing? No, man. This is not new. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One thing I did like was when all the shit happened and everything went down and the the good guys got like screwed and they're like, What just happened? And Jason, her son, was like, mm-hmm. I got a bad feeling. I was like, 
Mm-hmm. Yes, because here's an actual kid that is force sensitive. Why isn't Ahsoka mm-hmm. training this little kid instead of wasting their time with with Sabine? But Sabine. I think I'm what, still kind of right where she's trying to prove. He goes, "You're not a Jedi, and you're never going to be a Jedi. You're a Mandalorian." And this episode kind of proved it because she did I the agree. whole like force stop thing, and I think Shin got ready to like like oh shit, and then she's like, "Oh wait, you don't got no power," and she goes. Yeah, dude, I'm a Mandalorian. Bam, fucking <laughs> wrist missiles. God, I was like, that's all. That was awesome. I was so hyped. I was like, yes. Um, I thought that she know, finally understood. I, I said she yeah. finally understands, and then she turn, does and does that dirty shit. I was like, man, you a dirty dirt bag, I, dirt. When we get into some <laughs> of the bad stuff, like, yeah, but yeah, it was it was great. It, uh, it was just it was so much fun, man. It was so, so um, this this legit was. The best Star Wars thing I've seen in a long, long, long time. Absolutely. You know, even on Twitter, I think I posted a picture of uh of um like praising Dave Filoni. You know, just because I mean you have to. After something like that, you have to. I mean, there's just no no other way around it. I think he you can know? fix it all, guys. I think he can fix it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there you go. You know, I'll 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 praise the the true heir to the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I put, you know, like in Dave, we trust this man understands Star what Star Wars is, you know, hashtag heir, heir to the Empire. You know, cowboy hat and everything, man. Love him. <laughs> Let's get into the bad stuff. Uh, Brandon, what bad stuff did you like about this? Well, you know, this episode's still pretty fresh in my mind at this point in time. Um I was just pretty riveted the entire time. I think that I probably have to give it a rewatch in order to um, have a better idea. But what I can say right off the fly is it was very much absorbed and um, focused on spectacle above all else. And you know me, I like um, I like a nice little even balance. So it it was it was admittedly as much as I loved this episode, it did feel very um very fixated on spectacle, pretty much um pretty much above all else if that makes sense. Um, like I said, the episode I just finished watching it, so I'd have to give like a little like I'd have to give it another watch before I can really really formulate my ideas. And admittedly, I was all about the spectacle for it. So that's really the only thing that I can think of as of right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know that that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I have to give it another watch. Yeah. Yeah. It's I have still to give it another too watch. fresh. Yeah. 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 You, it, with, with an episode like that, you need at least two. Watch. Yeah. It's, it's brand new in my mind. So I think after another watch, I'll, I'll, I'll have a much more solidified um, way of communicating. Yeah. Never yeah, I hear you, Brian. Any any nitpicks or bad things? F Sabine. <laughs> That's my Nick Pitt and nitpick. I hate Sabine. Yeah, F not a fan of her right now. Yeah, not no. a fan of her. I no. I mean, everything she was so fucking annoying in everything that she did, even in the damn force, she was annoying as hell. And, you know, I thought it was cool that she was going to be Mandalorian. And she had a chance. She made a promise and broke the mother effer again. Like, come on, man. I, how can I trust you? I, I could never. You can never be a Padawan. And I think that's what she was telling her from the beginning. But the fact that 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 Ahsoka was so hurt when she thought something happened to Sabine. That she risked her, everything for it. And then Sabine just to turn her back on her right then. F her. I'm done. Done like yeah. I'm Teen Sabine. I'm done. I took the t- I took the shirt. I burned <laughs> it yesterday. It was over. <laughs> well, can she redeem herself? You think? I don't know, man. I I, I love hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my only hope, and I have a glimmer of hope that maybe this is all part of, part of Ahsoka's plan. But mm-hmm. yeah. that's it. Xavier, I see why Brian's not uh, feeling to be. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just dude. Yeah. I'm not a fan of her. He's been doing from the beginning, like he's been really pissing me yeah. off, and just going more and more. Yeah, yeah. Um, anything else? That about it. No, I mean I love this episode, so I, I'm not even going to pretend yeah. I'm going to have 
my negative is still a positive in, in the show. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's like yeah. I'm not going. It's to, not anything I, bad about the show. It's just like the character, the one, uh, this character arc is kind yeah. of your like, yeah. Um, and that that's, that's mine too. Good. You know, but also that's kind of my issue with with the show so far with Sabine as the character was in. She's so different from what she was in Rebels. In Rebels, she was confident. She was smart. She was a fighter. She's she's a, a Mandalorian. Here, she's like, is she a Mandalorian? You know, like, I don't know. You know, like, she has the armor, but she's not acting like a Mandalorian. Like, you know, she did her little, you know, wrist missiles, which was awesome. But, um, yeah, I mean, she, she is so changed from what she was in the cartoon. And it's very, very frustrating because... I would I would even go as far to say as Sabine was one of my favorite parts of Rebel. Like mm. you know, probably you one of my that. favorite parts, you know. Because she she was so cool, she was very interesting. Um her backstory, you know, her and, and Ezra like kind of growing up together, it was it was a lot of fun. Um and then here, right off the bat, it's like stupid decision after stupid decision being being very stupid. You know, and I'm like and then very being very uh like not confident you know and indecisive and stuff like that i'm like who who is this character you know this is not the mean mm-hmm. that we saw in the show you know so i i would say like for me i was like unless you plan on doing something big but also you're kind of killing a, that what was a really cool character and i don't know why unless there's a big arc at the end where she like redeems herself or or stuff like that but if she's just not be becoming regressing as a character because she's you know going crazy for Ezra. That's not that's not enough good. That's not a good enough reason. What if she like they get there and and Balin you know is a man of his word and gets her to to right. to Ezra and they find out and, she, and he, if Ezra finds out what she did and he turns his back on her and says. I asked you to do one thing in that message. I asked you to do one thing, carry on for me. And you couldn't even do that. And then right before you come here, you turn your back on the one person Mm -hmm. that you're supposed to to protect, that you're supposed to have their back. I can't, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. And he turns his back on her. And how does that affect her? I can see that. And then Ahsoka, once again, comes in. Like nothing for nothing. You know, he's like, bitch, I did this for a reason. And then you just guided them back here it's like what are you yeah. doing you know and then ahsoka is the one who tells him no don't blame her it's my fault i should have taught, taught her better you know but once again takes the blame for her again what yes. she doesn't deserve she deserves to be looked at it as, as, as a, a problem and to be left left in wherever the hell they are <laughs> she, she should be left <laughs> Ahsoka says, uh, stay on the ship, Sabine. Nah, I'm going back to Ezra. <laughs> Ezra's old crib. Gets jacked. It's jacked. Yeah. <laughs> everything she's done, everything has been a problem yeah. in this entire show has been Sabine's damn start. fault. Yep. Yep. It's, 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 it is, uh, it's, it's really frustrating. She lost the yeah. map. She got stabbed. I'm, she, I'm she hoping at the end attention. it makes sense. I'm hoping in the end it makes sense. And may, maybe it does lead to her leaving the Rebels group and becoming part of the Mandalorian show. You know, it was like, man, you know, maybe instead of trying to be a Jedi and something that I'm not, maybe I should go be a Mandalorian and actually do something that I know I'm good at and I can help rebuild. You know, that's something that is important to me and stuff like that. And I, I'm, I'm maybe that's what they're trying to do, that she doesn't belong here so much that, you know, she's getting in the way. You know, kind of thing, you know. So, you know, like maybe that's what she is. You know, she's like the the rhino in in the the glass, you know, factory. You know, it's like you don't belong here. You're like, go over there with the other ones. Like, don't be here. Maybe that's what they're kind of getting at. I don't know. I think that no one you else know, is going to trust her again besides Ahsoka. But Ahsoka will continue to have that love for her. But no one else is going to trust her, even even Ezra, and that's going to kill her inside, and that's going to force her back to the Mandalorians. That's the first thing I thought about. Was I'm like I'm like you're totally going against what Ezra did, <laughs> you know, and you're going against what Ahsoka said. I don't even know what Hera's gonna do because Hera's usually pretty level headed, and I can see her flipping out. Like you did what? Why? 
thing. So, but yeah, man, I don't know. You guys think anything else that you can think of, good or bad? Any ideas? Theory? Honestly, I just can't wait to see where we're going. Same. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get about a 52, 53 minute episode. Yep. Directed by Dave Filoni. Which means you know, it's going to be epic. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really good. Um, I, I, I do enjoy when he directs the episode because I feel like there's more passion put into it, more like like it needs to be good. Like one Filoni needs to prove to people that he can do this, you yeah. know, and also you know, by doing that, he like really like puts in a lot of effort and and usually the episodes are great. You know, so you gotta stick the landing, guys. You you have a great story, you have a lot of threads out there. Gotta stick the landing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be back here next week talking about episode five and we might lose our damn minds. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You don't see me let's go. <laughs> Brian's like, done. You're like looking like don't even know what to say. Like, ah, but then Yeah. Um, I don't know, but um, but appreciate all you guys. And if you're watching on the replay and you want to be part of the show, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, join us every Monday and Thursday talking about movies and TV shows. Um, and then, uh, you two could be part of the show. So appreciate all you guys. If you did watch this on the replay and, uh, <laughs> we got a big forward and, and Anzo in, in the house. Appreciate Anzo and Chaos Central. And if you want to see more of us, um, check us out on Chaos Central with Bigger Ford Entertainment and all the crew over there with those guys, with Danny and Chris and uh, and a bunch of other guests. Um, so check us there on Sunday nights usually. Um, yep. And we just do a whole roundtable of of uh, fans and we talk about it. And not everyone has the same uh, feelings about the I show. Know. You know? I just so, want to see if, if Warren <laughs> hate this episode too. We'll see. <laughs> I hate it. I give it a 95%. Exactly. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. Give you an yeah. Like, yeah. What yeah. talk about Warren? <laughs> yeah. So so check us out on Chaos Central uh on uh on over there on Sunday. Um but appreciate everyone in chat. Thank you for hanging out with us. Um but we are gonna move on to our next 